It's a good time of year. Get on it while it's still on your mind. Definitely. Right? Before or you forget. Before you forget, <laughs> and then everyone just becomes again a, a JPEG, as they say. You don't want your kid to grow up to be a JPEG. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so we have some good ideas for us. As I always. do. Mm -hmm. I do. So obviously, when we talk about memories, to me, the first thing that comes to mind is scrapbooking. Yeah. Um, and you're talking about digital things over on the one side mm -hmm. over here. Uh, we have some pages that I actually made in our digital scrapbooking. Uh, program oh, cool. called My Digital Studio and so it's really nice because if you have digital photos you just incorporate them into the digital pages you can print them all out at once Great. and then you know it's all fresh in there and like I said you don't have to have huge stories on it mm -hmm. there's just a, a couple bullet points yeah. to remember the highlights of the uh, sure. season and sometimes that's maybe more approachable for certain people like some people that are maybe not as you know physically creative and want to be gluing and blah 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 yeah. you can try doing it that way a little bit and definitely this is a drag and drop thing you take yeah. your pictures you drop them on top of the yes. page it so some people are more inclined for that one but some people also get a really nice kick out of still doing the traditional method of definitely. just sitting down I know sometimes it's just sort of a nice escape actually yes to be sort of creative and artistic yes definitely mm -hmm. and then this is a traditional scrapbook page so paper photos mm -hmm. um, and this is a story of um, the tradition that my mother has of giving ornaments to each of right. her nephews and nieces yeah. and so it doesn't have to be pictures of people necessarily to remember the stories and that's the important thing you want to remember the stories it's also good to incorporate some hand writing in it so that you know what it looked like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and on that note I was going to show you scrapbooking can be a little intimidating yes. for some of us I, I mean, think for me, I just feel like it's just overwhelming. I feel like I have so many pictures. I don't, I don't know how to narrow it down to choose the most the significant ones, the most Definitely. memorable ones. Definitely. So, I mean, one of the ways is just pick out the best pictures. Mm -hmm. One of them is that you don't always need a lot of pictures either. So this is an example. Um, of scrapbooking stories and mm -hmm. memories and so what I had my son do was write out one of his uh, favorite memories from this Christmas Aww. and this memory talks about the fact that uh, he enjoyed the fact that his uncle came home to visit oh, so nice. this is actually on a six by six piece of designer series paper so you could actually put this into a six by six album right now as a scrapbook picture sure. okay if you're intimidated or uh, you want to make it a little bit bigger then what you can do is take an eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock, mm -hmm. put on a little extra paper, put on a photo. Uh, this is my son and his uncle. <laughs> and then you can stick your six by six page onto your eight and a half by eleven page. And then you have an eight and a half by eleven by eight and a half by eleven inch scratch book. But I like the idea though of you like you know allowing him to write something because Definitely. he'll be able to look you know even at his, his printing right exactly and when he's older and say wow and just the funny things that yeah. someone comes out of a mouth of a certain age. You know? I know, it's just I know, huge, definitely. Right? And then we turn it into a twelve by twelve pa uh, inch scrapbook page by adding on a couple extra elements. Oh, okay. So it's not that hard. You can fill up a lot of space. I'm trying to show you. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. You can fill up a lot of space without having to do a lot of fussing. And this sure. is a lot of pre-printed paper. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's great. It just kind of gives it. It just sort of fills up with some color and character. Definitely. And it's nice. Definitely. And so one of the things that I was going to show you. Do we still have time? Oh yeah. Is uh, sure. a place to capture your memories before they go away. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a, oh, I forgot to show, this is a calendar as well. You can come up with a photo That's calendar. A great idea. And it's a great way to, again, organize your pictures. So this is um, the December Aww. for next year, 2012. This is a uh, calendar that I did for my grandmother. Oh, so. isn't that nice? And you know, people actually really like these. These are the calendars people want. And, and they're not going to throw them out at the end of the year. They want to no. keep them. It's, it turns into just a keepsake book. So. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So okay. there's a piece of cardstock here. And mm -hmm. what we're going to do is uh, score it. This is a special tool called Simply Scored. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm scoring the cardstock, okay. and I have pre-marked spots. You always um, have great tools that I, you use. And the I bring the really toys. <laughs> I bring the toys. And then what we're going to do, I'll give you one of these, and okay. we're just going to stamp all over. So you ink and you stamp. Nice. Love it. So it's not that hard. Mm -hmm. So you get the idea. So we've stamped. Okay approximately there. We're going to fold along all the score lines. Okay. And what we're going to do, high tech here, we're going to staple at the very bottom of the smallest fold. So I don't know if you can see. Oh, okay. Okay, good. So it kind of looks like a little matchbox. Yes, it totally does. Okay. And then what we're going to do is to stick oh, some post-it notes inside of it. So sure. that you can carry these around in your purse, so when you think of those stories that you want to remember, Linda, you have you're somewhere a to put it. Little one, aren't you? <laughs> I try. <laughs> I try. <laughs> <laughs> 
Seriously. <laughs> wow, you even made me pretend I looked. It actually looks good. I like it. <laughs> cool. Again, some always great ideas. Yamstamps.com. You can go onto your website and have access to all this great information yes. and all the great things that you do. Yes. To be, keep people creative in this world That's of technology. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to go and see what Jason's doing this morning.